So without further delay, please let me introduce our first speaker presenting on advancing smart water solutions, total network monitoring is none other than Matt Steibenberg, Vice President of Software and Water Quality here at Badger Meter. Go ahead, Matt, time's yours. Excellent, thank you very much, Travis. So uh, what, warm welcome from a sunny Milwaukee, uh, Wisconsin today. Uh, and, and I think a lot of people probably know Badger Meter as a meter provider, uh, AMI solutions, and really what I want to talk about today uh, is advancing uh, some of our network monitoring solutions. So moving beyond that meter into how do we add additional value? What other problems are we solving for utilities with, uh, with some new developments uh, within Badger Meter? So first and foremost, just want to take a couple of brief minutes to talk about a few common utility problems that we hear. Uh, and, and as really we talk about, you know, utilities looking into filling some of their blind spots in their network. Too many calls uh, leading to field investigations from field crews, having to spend time investigating uh, activities of which, which you just don't have insight into. Uh, timely data to help that decision-making process. How am I going to prioritize where I'm spending my scarce resources? Uh, which ties in as well to the, the lack of manpower. We just don't have the people today uh, to really go out and do all of the things of which we're looking to do in our operations to keep, keep things up and running accounting for all of our water. So where is it going? Where am I losing it? What sort of stresses am I putting on my network? Uh, analyzing reports, uh, too much time spent digging into the details and not having the insights delivered to you on what's going on within the network. And then customer trust and understanding, really helping that customer understand uh, their bill, how much water they're using, the quality of which is being delivered to them and building that trust with the customer. Uh, and we believe, per that, that really the solution to a lot of these problems resides in timely, low maintenance, cloud connected, insights for network operations. And so as we go forward uh, and perhaps slightly biased, uh, you know, the metering program and advancements in A and I, AMI and software as a service solutions can really set the foundation for addressing those challenges. The meter is a required component to run your business, accurately collecting information to generate a bill on a monthly or quarterly basis, but it's also the last piece of utility-owned infrastructure before entering the home, and its capabilities are much greater than just generating a bill. As we look at you know, really where uh, metering has gone to, we now have pressure, temperature, flow rate, empty pipe alarms, freeze alerts, all being generated in 15-minute data resolution that can be used for far more than just that, that bill that we're generating. Not only that, that data is backhauled through a secure, reliable, robust cellular network of which the utility doesn't have to install any infrastructure at all to get that, uh, to get that data backhauled. There's no maintaining uh, uh, their own collection towers. Uh, in cases of natural disasters, you don't have to go put a tower back up. It's all maintained organically by the uh, cellular network providers of which are leveraged for much greater uses as well. Uh, on top of that, even just core operations like non-revenue water analysis, taking a look at district metering and, and inflows and outflows from a district uh, zone in order to generate some high level non-revenue water analysis and customize little dashboards. Uh, they're gonna present that data to you in a digestible manner to get insights around what's going on, not only in your billing operations or diagnostics about your devices, uh, but also in, in the health of your network. So, you know, we talk a little bit on that last slide about the metering itself and a little bit of the software. And, and historically, the meter data management platforms, the software as a service that's presented alongside of metering has been about billing reads, perhaps a little bit of water conservation in those district metering and some leak uh, notifications, customer side leak uh, in, in trends and alerts of which the homeowner may not be aware of, device diagnostics, uh, event configuration really related to the metering aspect. But as we look forward, moving beyond just the billing aspect of what you can do with the meter and tying that in with additional sensors, with additional insights, we're now able to, in one platform, one screen, also take a look at harmful transients of which might be affecting the health of your network, leak detection, burst detection and locating, combining water quality with pressure and that flow rate information to really generate smarter alerts and in SCADA and other data those operational aspects or what may be impacting now the data you're getting from the AMI investment. I think we all realize that one of the biggest investments that a utility may make outside of the infrastructure that's already in the ground is, is in deploying these AMI uh, deployments 
And what other value can I get out of that huge investment I just undertook to get my billing data and my insights back to now enhance that even further? So we won't go through this whole slide, um, but software alone won't unlock that additional value. You know, the appropriate hardware and connectivity is necessary as well. And that's inline, online, low maintenance and IoT enabled devices that are deployable into remote locations. And it's really the calling card of this portfolio that we've built. Now today we'll focus on two specific laneways out of this additional portfolio beyond our metering into our smart water quality monitoring and our pressure and leak detection devices. So the first one we wanna highlight here is our pipe scan. Uh, and while you know, you'll never replace the lab when it comes to water quality monitoring, the pipe scan is about as close as you can get to a lab on the pipe. Uh, so this device can, can backhaul and measure 10 parameters, including organics, turbidity, uh, conductivity, pH, chlorine, uh, all with no bypass stream. So this patented device sits on the pipe, directly drawing in water from the pipe, running it through the sensor network, and then redeploying it through a micro pump back into the pipe network with no water loss, no bypass stream, full event detection for what's going on within your networks, not just trending information, but lab quality sensors deployed in the field. Uh, we've had one utility in particular who's saving 100,000 gallons a year per monitoring station and not running bypass lines out to a waste stream. So even when you think about your conservation efforts around how much water am I using to pull uh, sample stations out through monitoring, the pipe scan is a great tool to be able to leverage every drop within your distribution network and backhaul this data as well through those same software platforms as I'm looking at that data in one screen. As I look a little bit further into the network, a great solution is the Metronet offering. Again, lab-based, lab quality, in-plant quality sensor stations, but field deployable with an analog front end and a digital back end for low power deployable field insights for water quality monitoring. Uh, these devices have been deployed all over the world, uh, thousands and thousands of them deployed, uh, connected to cloud platforms and backhauling water quality data all the way down to the furthest extents of a network into a meter box. Uh, we have seen most of the applications right now tying around sampling points. So taking a look at your compliance sampling locations, uh, which you may be taking draws weekly, monthly, whatever cadence, uh, but putting in a few devices, those same sampling points to get insights into what's going on there in a real time basis. So you're aware of potential non-compliance that may be, uh, may be coming to bite you as you get your lab sample back a few weeks later. So adding to the value of your lab program uh, and getting those additional insights back, relatively long life, long maintenance uh, cycles for these products as well. So moving a little beyond water quality, but another great application for distribution network monitoring, uh, we wanna highlight one of our newest brands, Cyrenix, uh, who just joined our portfolio this year, uh, and really into network pressure optimization. Uh, so we talked a little bit about how pressure is now included within a number of our flow meters. Uh, that pressure is relatively low frequency sampling for general pressure management and, and relatively free alongside of the metering program. As we look at how a pipe minder uh, can now augment and add to the value of that pressure from the flow meter, we're looking at 128 Hertz, 50 millisecond time synchronization pressure data. And both of those are really important because that together, the frequency of sampling and the time synchronization allows for high resolution pressure data of which we can correlate events down to actually location of where a burst may have occurred, where a faulty valve is, is, is happening uh, where you've got underperforming assets and where you may have events of which are causing stress to your network to deliver reduced water loss, extended asset life, avoidance of service impacts, and really optimize network operations uh, throughout your network. So really excited about the addition and how this is going to add value uh, and really pull that data in alongside of everything we're collecting from flow metering as well. So I wanted to talk a little bit now moving beyond products into how have some of these been deployed at actual customers. Uh, and in this customer, again, dovetailing a little bit onto the conversation around you know, taking your compliance manual sampling points uh, and, and really converting those into a real-time station, uh, we had a utility with a very challenging distribution scheme, several pressure zones, secondary disinfection sites, 100% water pumped, uh, and, and really their standard operating procedure was fairly reactive. Despite their best efforts, a uh, very proactive utility, it was still reactive in nature and really trying to move to a proactive and how do I make sure my water quality, how do I make sure that my network's operating the best it can? 
Uh, and immediately we found five sites of which could benefit from deployment of, of online inline sampling stations, uh, deployed into known trouble areas and being backhauled directly into Beacon uh, to be able to view that uh, water quality data alongside of uh, the flow information. And actually this customer is also a Cernix customer, optimizing their pressure throughout their distribution as well, all pulling those insights together into, into one program. Uh, furthermore, uh, another utility really who had, had a significant uh, challenges around uh, non-revenue water and looking to optimize their network uh, and, and you know, help analyze why, why, why are my assets not lasting as long as they should? How can I better uh, optimize my pumping, my, my water that's delivered to the customer and make sure that I'm getting the life out of my assets that I, that I thought I would and prioritize my asset planning? And this really started with a cons consultative approach, looking at historical breaks, uh, problem areas within the network to uh, determine where to deploy the sensors. And really the outcomes were a, a number of insights of which people just didn't understand were happening as we're now pulling back 128 hertz data, uh, valves of which were going into an oscillating mode, uh, significant pressure fluctuations, high to low, uh, that can cause significant stress on the network, as well as then correlating pump start stops by pulling in some SCADA information alongside of this field data that we're uh, taking a look at that really identified underperforming assets within the network that allowed the utility to then uh, optimize where they were uh, putting their dollars. Now, while that one may have been a little bit more of a standard use case for it, we've also had some customers with maybe some unexpected problems that were identified. Uh, and even though the intent of the, the installations were very similar to what I uh, just referenced in the last use case, uh, this customer actually ended up finding uh, some significant water theft that was occurring through uh, the transient monitoring of which we deployed throughout the network. So this customer, as you can see on surveillance, after noticing some unusual activity uh, by looking at high frequency pressure, uh, cameras were deployed in the area of which uh, the software radar uh, triangulated to and caught a consistent theft occurring from a, a local fire hydrant. So what does this all mean in practice? How does, how does water quality, flow metering, uh, pressure, all come together in, into really actionable outcomes for uh, for the utility. And so quick example here, uh, really the real time nature, the edge detection computational power of, of high frequency, high precision devices in a pipe minder uh, detects a transient at the edge. That device then calls in to radar immediately, uh, surfaces that data uh, into the radar platform. Radar then can triangulate where that event has occurred uh, again, in real time, and push notifications to the utility operators, wherever we want that data to go. If it wants to go to the actual field service crews, if we want it to go to the utility director, uh, notifications will surface, uh, alerting to the actual transient, the location, the severity. You can then take that transient information, that push notification, correlate that with the district meter flow values that are, that are within Beacon, all within the same software platforms, to take a look at the severity of the water of which is being lost or, or uh, confirm some of what you think has just happened with the insights from radar. With distributed water quality monitoring, we can now take a look and we've confirmed that there's a low pressure event. We've confirmed that there's flow associated with the burst, but I can also now take a look at my distributed water quality monitoring stations and say, yep, all right, I may have had a turbidity increase, but my chlorine disinfectant residual is still stable. I've got confidence over what's going on with the water. I didn't have a zero pressure event. I'm above my, my compliance pressure. I've still got disinfectant. I can do a push notification out to the affected homes through Ion Water, our consumer engagement app, of which ties in through all the software platforms as well, letting them know that there's a disturbance in the network, uh, but everything is under control and we're working on it. Crews repair the pipes and I maintain total customer confidence uh, with my constituents in my area. So a really powerful set of tools to get insights into what was previously dark areas, maintain that, that insight, and maintain co uh, confidence with my customer base. And with that, I believe I've left a minute for questions. Absolutely, right on the dot too. So that was that was awesome, Matt, nice work. Um, I do have a question for you. Uh, so if you don't mind, just based on what we just what we just learned, with additional capabilities, do you offer services to ensure we can best deploy the products and understand the information? Yeah, absolutely. You know, as we go beyond just metering, uh, it's a little bit more of a technical solution, right? And so it bridges a little bit into some of that, that consulting area. And, and part of even one of the case studies, you know, we sat down and reviewed some of their historical burst information, reviewed some of the challenges, reviewed their hydraulic network, 
to help advise on, on where, where to best deploy, how to best connect, and then also help the customer, uh, even though Radar is a very simple, intuitive platform, best understand the insights that are coming back to extract the most value. So absolutely, those services are available as well for, uh, for assisting the customer base. Good to know. Uh, fantastic presentation. Thank you very much for joining us here bright and early this morning. Much appreciated. Uh, looking forward to having you back and uh, great job. And we look forward to hearing great. more from you and Badger Meter very soon. Absolutely. Thank you very much.